welcome to New Zealand. Welcome to another travel log. We've actually been here a couple of days now. We have, yeah. Touring the beautiful city of Auckland. The, the official McKay tour doesn't start until tonight. That's right. We meet all of the participants, sit down for a nice dinner, and we start on our photographic and New Zealand journeys tomorrow. Yes. Came over to Devonport last night for some uh, night photography. Yep. Beautiful view as it's starting to lit up here. We need to do some long, long exposures, try to get a little bit of the reflection of the city lights in the water here. I'm shooting with the Sony, uh, with the 70 to 200 F4. All right, so one of the things that's always amazing to me is how fast it gets dark when it really starts getting dark. I think I've heard something about two stops of light for every 10 or 15 minutes. So it's really dropped now. I can just watch my shutter speed uh, increase. One of the things that I tweeted out the other day that I really like is the updated app for the Sony. You can now go to bulb mode, and once you're in bulb mode, you can just slide it over, and it's just gonna start counting for you and let you know how long your shutter. So if you wanna do shutters longer than 30 seconds, this is a really easy, nice way with no extra tools needed. So far, what's your impressions of Auckland? Um, it's very, there's a lot of diversity in the food and the people, in all the different things to do. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool town. done a really cool experience a miniature train ride through kind of this primordial New Zealand forest I say primordial because not only were there trees but there are these giant ferns giant. massive massive ferns um, that are actually quite common in New Zealand forests and uh, there's actually there's so many different varieties of ferns and we got to go on this train ride and see all of the different types well, not all the different types but lots of them and uh, and learn all about them. And uh, it was, yeah, tell us about the track. So this is outside the town of Cormandel, and this potter back in the 70s bought this piece of land, potter is in making clay pots, and just decided, I think, because he was a cool dude, to build a train track on his property. He really liked trains. I mean, really liked them. I like trains, this guy really liked them. And over decades, built this series of train tracks that lead all the way up to a beautiful overlook out across the Harakai Gulf, back towards Auckland. Uh, the weather this morning was kind of cool and rainy, and by the time we got to the top, um, it the was... Had, had cleared, and it was just a beautiful day, and it's still now a beautiful day. Yep. So, um... And we're headed, we just had lunch, a little seafood lunch at this little town here, and we're headed to Cathedral Cove, and a hot water beach for some more adventure exploring and of course, photographing. We're on the beginning of day three, but we need to wrap up day two because we shot and we're out adventuring until so late that we never even got a chance to wrap that up. That's right, we went to Cathedral Cove. Um, it was about a 40, uh, I was just about to say 40 miles. It was about a 40 minute walk down to the beach and it was just gorgeous, um, beautiful, just natural caves on the water. Um, An, a, a huge arch you can walk through, uh, you know, the peninsula comes out beautiful colors of water, beautiful stone, trees above. I think your Instagram shot uh, is fantastic. Honestly, I was a little frustrated there with what I was capturing. I, it was beautiful, I enjoyed it. I don't feel like I came away with any amazing photos from that place, um, but people should check out yours. 
Uh, I do like the tree I captured up above. Yeah, I took a picture um, of that too. I think almost everybody who walks by probably did. Yeah. And I hope this really nice German couple on a round the world journey understand what aperture means. They needed a <laughs> selfie taken, so I offered and then I changed the aperture and they're like, what do those numbers mean? Yeah. So, you know, it was a good day. Yeah, we did some drone footage and then we made our way back to Auckland and uh, this morning we're just doing a little brief tour of Auckland and then we're headed, where are we headed? We are headed to Hobbit Town. Hobbit Town. So you need to tune into tomorrow's vlog to find out, or next day's vlog, the next vlog, <laughs> to find out if a hobbit, if Christina is bigger or smaller than a hobbit. Let's what do go. you guys think? What, what, I just want to get a general poll of what people think. Leave your comments below. All right, see you then. Bye-bye.